Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And we are in a very, uh, very foggy area. So, what we're about to do is we're about to steal some moonshine for, uh, for a quest that somebody wanted back in, uh, back in, uh, sand, whatever, I don't know what it's called, but there's supposed to be a wagon that's coming through here. Um, so we're kind of just gonna chill and wait for it. Some birdies. There's a frog we can study, look at that. The track frogs? Oh, look at that. Hold on. Who we got here? Okay. Hey, let's do this. Oh, my file installed. That was a long file. It was a new update. Just uh, ignore that while we do this. You listening to me? Back the That's how you do it. Well, what? So I shot this man in the face. Alright, well, it's a lot less, uh, a lot less foggy now. I think that was the, the Black Bell's house. Back from, uh, the running stories about that one guy. Um, there's nowhere else we need to go besides take this wagon. Jeez, this is a weird path. Alright, I'm just gonna cinematic this so I cannot drive on this road. We got the moonshine. It's tell that I kind of didn't want to do this one because I wanted to wait to come back, but I didn't have a choice. So maybe we'll just have to uh, to run back after this. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hopefully, it's not too far away where we have to go. Some cows. Some people just chilling. Got a factory over there. Yeah. Come on, horses. You can do it. Got this little, like, factory thing over here. And we gotta, like, look across the river. I'm not sure where we're going or how far we have to go. Oh, no, we're actually really close. That's not supposed to be too far away. Oh, no, I'm doing my horse. You're a wonderful man! Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? Uh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell the Third. Andrew Bell? You've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers, excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? It's a chair full of electricity. Quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Where is it? Well, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration. A public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Speak to the police chief. All right. Well. Okay. Oh, I don't. I don't, I don't have to. It's just uh, like a uh, one of those things. Professor. All right. Well, let's go back because um. 
we meant to do this bounty first. So let's go do the bounty and then come back. And then we'll do all these missions. And then we'll do the main story. And there's... Oh, there's a... Oh, we went to that house already. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we went to that house already. And we kind of killed everybody. Uh, at least we killed the dad. And then there's a son there. But yeah, we already did that. We already been there, but that's okay. It's not very fun. So I wonder if they will respond then, because like I stole from them, and I like I was just like exploring behind the Braithwaite's, and so I was just like, oh, this is cool. I went in there and I just shot everybody, and then there's bounty hunters that came after me. So that was fun. That was a uh, that was like a couple episodes ago. So you might remember that if you've been uh, following along. <laughs> but I'll be curious to see how that's gonna you know pan out. Yeah, I cannot see anything in this uh, fog. There's a bridge we were just across, right? Something like that. Here we go. Now we're kind of out of the fog. Alright. It's like fish and everything over this. Kind of interesting. Just trucking along, gotta get that bounty. Hundred dollars in the pocket. The hog over there. Well, I just pull up my double barrel and my pump. I'm not using my shotgun much. Last time I do this at the Braithwaite, I just don't want to use it. Lancaster's so much better. Rapid fire shots is all I need. God, it's so foggy. I can barely see. What you saw, okay? All right. Guess I'll just listen for the explosion. Hey, we say it's Graham. Ah, I won't. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, brother. Well, that was. <laughs> <laughs> Serves him right. Well. Thanks, guys. <laughs> take from the rich. Oh my god, that was hilarious. Alright, <laughs> take the money. I'll spend it in your honor, boy. <laughs> oh man, can I open this? I wonder. Oh, they're literally just it's a thing of dynamite. We can't take that? Whatever. I don't care. That was hilarious. Let's go, oh man, I love those little uh, side kind of like miscellaneous encounters. You always get some kind of fun things going. So how far have we been on the map? So we don't have too far to go. There's a house here though. You can see the little house imprint. And then, uh, yeah, we've got a long way to go. To the, uh... Is that a... I don't care. Just a response here. Well, I said we have a long way to the, um, the magic guy who did the, the boats. I don't remember his name, it was like something Dryers? I don't know. Drag. Drag. Magic. Something. Dragic. Marco Dragic, something like that. Oh, he's in port? Jesus Christ. Oh, I did not mean to use a shotgun. That's for sure. I wonder where he is. Hope it's in poor condition. Whoa, 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 okay. Wait, let's clean this puppy. My favorite gun. There you go. Back where it is new. All right. Comes to it. A federal warrant? I don't know. 
that don't mean much in a sovereign territory, mister. We've been beaten down and driven out Holy of Jesus. Enough. There's a weapon there. Let's make a stand, boys. Come away peacefully and you can live. Oh, oh, take the big gun. Ah! I don't know who this dual count bounty hunting bastard is, but he's going to know the Raiders. Ah! You need better cover, dude. Come on. I just want dead or alive. I kind of want to keep him alive, though. I think it'd be more fun to try to take him alive, you know? Oh, God. Actually, she might not. Uh, 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 uh. Let's just take uh, open health time. Huh? There we go. Maybe not. There we go, we're okay. What? I got him. Yeah. Dead or alive, puppy. Let's go. <sighs> Dead or alive. It's gonna be alive. Uh, I guess all that remains is to take you and damn you to hell. Damn, dude. This guy had a. He had a base, that's for sure. What's that golden gun there, though? I feel like a Molotov, dude. That was so annoying. Stow him. San Denis, that's the name. Get us to San Denis. I won't go there. I won't. Ain't really up to you, partner. You going, horsey? Just left me. Fire bottles. Oh yeah, that's some Molotovs. Is there anything I can't can loot that book? I don't think so. Still cartridges. I'll take that. There's my horse. Could be a good horse. What's up here? Anything of value? I don't think so. No. Well, not just sitting over here. I can get over there. Nope, don't think so. God, that hurts. Legendary gun. Horse going. It's going down. I just want to get the gun. I'm trying to loot everybody. All right, I'm gonna leave the rest of the guys on the top. It's not worth it for me to go up all the way. Oh, cigarette car. Yes, always worth it for a cigarette car. It's a panther. Here we go. And yeah, there's anything else here. What's the gun? Is right here. Is it below? Is 
is above? I have to go below ground, it says. Uh, I see. This is cool. It's down here. All right, relax. Gold nugget. Letter. Civil War report. Confederate soldiers under Quincy has attacked this night. Country's forest and environment but the it's also in I am next. I don't know. So this is like Dude, I was <sighs> My horse just left. My horse just leaves. Don't have to do this all again. Please don't do this to me. I was just looting whatever that thing was. You can't give the legendary gun and then not okay. Well, I'll just leave him tied up next time. Oh. Well, hold on. Where's legendary gun? You won't get a hundred paces. We'll see. Um, I don't know if the gun was. It's not there anymore. Whatever. I'll go down there no matter what. Maybe it just isn't shown. I'll reload my game if I have to. Alive, pal. Sorry about it. Hey, stop him! He'll be right there. Well, nothing that I really did counts. Panther car, there we go. Where's the gun? What was the gun? Don't make me reload this game, dude. I don't know what the gun is. Is it in here? No. I'm gonna reload my game. Don't think I won't. Dude, what is it? Come on. No way to check either. I still have to check my horse. And if not, I'll have to reload my game because I'm not going to get rid of that gun. I don't know what it was. Well, that was weird. There you go. Okay, so let's go through my guns. Midnight pistol, sawed off, full encounters, flak of ranger, double action. Nope. Springfield, bolt, rolling block, rear, double barrel, bow, and then put. I lost the gun. I don't know what it was. The question is where's my auto save? It's there. So I didn't do this. So I'm more than willing to do this again. Um. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Um, so what I'm going to do is then I'm probably just going to cut ahead to where I'm actually back there so you guys don't have to watch me go through all that. So I will be right back. Alright guys, we finally uh, we finally took the time to get down here. We probably had to <laughs> reload that save uh, like six different times because the first time I got killed so I had to reload because the gun weapon despawned. Then I accidentally killed the uh, the bounty, and so it took a little while, but we're finally here. And basically, it's a Civil War knife is what we get. So that's pretty cool. I lose my knife because of it, but that's okay. I'll probably get it back. But, I mean, look at this thing. We got a Civil War knife. Are you kidding? I mean, I can't even pick up my knife anymore, so it's, it's fine. 
But that's pretty cool. A Civil War Knight. So, that makes sense because this is a Civil War base. Um, yeah, that's awesome. So let's take all these things and then we can finally be done with this quest. Never have to come back. Yeah, that's Civil War Knight, dude. That's actually really cool. Um, I don't think there's anything else down here. I need to escape, please. Thank you. So let's go. Let's gonna move on. Let's just look at the Civil War knife in broad daylight. There you go. There it is. Cool. We hope we keep our real knife, though. That was fast. Save me some time. Cool. Alright, horsey, come on. There's a horse down there, too. Ooh. I do not have my knife anymore. That's fine. Um, I mean, my, this knife is kind of cooler anyway, so I don't care. I won't go there. I won't. They're really up to you, partner. It's just a horse in the water, whatever. Right, let's go back to San Diego. We do unfortunately lose my knife, but we do get the Civil War knife. I don't know if it does more damage. Um, if that even is a thing. We got a Civil War knife though. This is an atrocity! It's an abomination! Oh, shame on you! It's just an arrest, you melodramatic clown. Oh man, dude, this, this, this quest gave me so much trouble. I don't even want to. I hate to restart so many times. The U.S. government, oh but it ain't valid, cause I'm no longer a citizen of this so-called United States. What do you mean? No, this ain't de jure. The federal government don't have no jurisdiction over de jure? me. I'm a citizen of the free. <clears throat> Sounds like one for the Lord. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna cinematic this because it's a little bit of a tough drive. This is what this country's become. It's a cesspit, a disaster, an abomination. Bounty hunters killing each other for the pleasure of taking a man's freedom. Oh, oh. It's greedy, grasping, carpet bagger bullcrap, and we're drowning. Enough with the words. I ain't in the mood. Oh man, okay. Hey, yeah, we'll actually talk to the uh, the sheriff too while we're there because we do the the professor mission. The Lamorne Raider ain't done yet. We are bloody but unbowed. You're kind of really pathetic, my friend. You lost. You keep on losing. That's right. Let's find this is jail. My horse is very. Hey, walk. Don't like talking to you folk normally, but you're a Lamorne Raider, right? So I thought I'd say, I'm bunking at your old place at the moment. Shady Bell? You the fellers that took the bell? You murdering animals. You <laughs> savage Yankee bastards. You'll get your comeuppance, all right? No, nope. I ain't sure that we will. That's funny. Almost there. Our journey is almost at an end. Oh, I hope the night folk get you, you son of a bitch, and hang you from a tree. Yeah, this is it. Damn the police. Damn every one of them. Traitor. Come on. Traitor to your state. Got a 
got one for you. Well, looky here. We got a genuine Lamon Raider in the building. <laughs> Make this poor fella comfortable with one of our cells. <laughs> Bet you ain't felt a bed in a while. Damn traitor's bed. Get me off of here. Calm down. From the city of Saint Denis to you, sir. With thanks. There you go. Looks right. There you go. Get out of here. That's how you do it. Is that for me? Nope. But we can go back Please, and do this. You get this fella out of here. All right, hold on. Well, just go. Why don't you? I'll have to probably leave and come back. That's fine. We'll like reset. Okay. Oh, excuse you. Apologies. Hey there, partner. Morning. Everybody, hello, hello. Hello, lady. Oh. Hi, you scum. Awful scum. Can I just talk to you? Or it's because of this thing is just messing it up. Uh, I'll have to come back. After another quest or something, that's fine. Um, I'll sue Charles. That's that might probably just be one in the city. Then they come do the merry one. Uh, watch yourself. No, watch yourself. <laughs> All right, what's up, Charles? What mess have you gotten into? Some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Um. What? I have an exhibit at the gallery. You can come see. What a okay. <laughs> we did it. We're okay. We didn't run anyone over. And we finished the quest successfully. Okay. Let's go over to the dresser now. Is there an exhibit somewhere else? Am I missing? I don't think so. Okay. Time to go, boy. Pop, pop. Asking the man. Who the hell do you think you are? So welcome to our humble police house. <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he uh he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. God. But it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars in fees. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run, and uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. 
That remains to be seen. But I'll give you a permit for 50. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you Half go. Half down. And yeah. here, sir, is your permit. A pen and unusual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Cool. I think this is supposed to be like Alexander Graham Bell. I actually don't know if that's true or not. Oh god, that's bright. I guess I do that. <laughs> but you do the lighting so well that I literally, like, it hurts my eyes. Like, I would actually be walking outside. So mad respect to, uh, to Rockstar for that. Alright, let's go back to the professor. I saw your money, dude. Uh, get yourself some real food, huh? Listen, you have to take this. Insane. Real kind. I lost my money playing. I have a bunch of things that I don't just use. Like, consume this will give you health experience. Maybe I should just start using that. I don't know, man. Whatever. I'll, I'll look it up later, just to make sure, like, it's just, like, an XP boost or, like, a straight actual, like, you drink this and you get more XP, I don't know. But. Let's go talk to the professor, finish this quest line, hopefully. Or something, I don't know. Jesus Christ, dude. I don't, I don't want to restart now because I have a ginseng and that might, might be good, dude. Oh my god. I literally hate everything about this town. Whatever, we'll just wait here. It's like the fifth time I've done that. I hate this game. Just think it's a good game. There you go. Bounty 80. Yeah. My bounty increased. Eh, yeah, well, I honestly might have increased. I just don't care at this point. $80 really isn't that much. At least for me, to me. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. Andrew. So, the Chief says Maybe you like can test Sunday. out your machine, yeah. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. Ooh. What's that? The mind shudders. <laughs> uh, here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Capture uh. McDaniel's alive. Where is this man? How far will you have to go? Wolf. That's a bit far for me. Oh great, there's Lom in there too. So I think just instead we're gonna go to the Mary Linton quest. Because I'm not about to go all the way there. Come on, move it! Oh my god. I hate the Lomen dude, they're literally always in more spots. This game's so dumb. Whatever. 
And why is it never the person's fault? Like, you had to be walking right in front of me when I'm driving? Like, come on, man. Whatever. Alright, Mary Linton. The Hotel Grand. Is that her? Straight down. Huh. Huh. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. I, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But. Hmm? Hmm? Well. <gasps> I don't know. <gasps> guys, 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 it's happening. It can happen. It can happen, guys. It can happen. <gasps> it can still happen. So, what do you think he's up oh to? Oh, my God. I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? Usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. This is the place. Right, I'll grab some guns just in case. Go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. <laughs> 
Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. The fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady at your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. So to me, my life. Apology accepted. Oh, wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired I and have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better yes, follow him. Okay. Keep a distance, we'll be spotted, yeah. This way. So far away, huh? He went around the corner. Dun dun. Dun dun. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Oh, where's this guy going? Come here, quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. Ooh. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Man, look at that. I mean, I... Oof. Everything okay with you? He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Where's he going? Where are you going? Oh, I think she's talking to him. About him, maybe. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Nice mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. 
Where is the fire gone? Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Did I suck me a steel horse? Because I don't really want to steal a horse. That's music though. Where's my horse? Now. Oh. oh. What the hell? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say... 50. One more time. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. There you go. Here. Here, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. I could have kept going. That's funny. That's how you do it, guys. Beat the man up. Get what you deserve, huh? This is great music, though. I love it. Let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. <laughs> you doing now right this moment why yes uh, well I was wondering if you wanted to do something uh, head to the theater perhaps uh, of course theater me sure why not uh, it'll be fun Arthur let's go to the relure they have the strangest acts <laughs> Strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. 
Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... You ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. <laughs> well... That's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. Hmm. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lynn. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. I just want them to go come and take it back together, man. That's all I want. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. I'm actually kind of interested to see what to expect. <clears throat> oh, you can exit whenever you want? Right away. Let's go. See ya. For that thunderous applause, I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as a starting or not. Are you of in a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. <laughs> Prepare. For the Is this supposed to be like of your curiosity? Uh, Barnum and Bailey kind of thing? Snakes and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion yeah, to I'll manual labor that. as I do. <laughs> For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Right, get on the show. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly Stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. All right, this is kind of cool, actually. I don't know. This is kind of interesting. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. I didn't even realize you could do that. <gasps> I'm so glad I found that. <gasps> yes, 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 I didn't even realize. Yo, make the move, make the move. Make the move. Oh my god, I didn't realize that was a thing. Make the move. That was so... <gasps> so I'm getting really excited. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, okay, sure, if you want. Reckon we've seen the best of it. <sighs> <laughs> All right, you better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. 
quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon I'll have some. Is it possible? I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. If I had some. Then some fool got her trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Oh. So sad. Fatherhood and other dreams. Aww. Welcome to work, man. Hmm. Well, whatever happens in the end, I hope uh, something works out. I don't know. I want you so, so badly, but well, I think that is a perfect place to, uh, to end this episode, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.